Hey, what's up? This is Seb de la Web with a screencast on how to create this nice looking mobile, uh, kind of a mobile app kind of feeling and uh, navigation. Um, it's very easy. You only need to import my pre-made short code and a little bit of CSS. And uh, let me show you how to do this. As you can see, it's sticky as well. So it's staying uh, st uh, fixed on the bottom. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. Um, I already made the um, the page for you. If you're watching this video on YouTube, uh, there's a tutorial link in the description, and then you can visit this page. So the first thing you need to do is import the UX shortcode, create a UX block, and then we're gonna add the CSS. So let me show you how to do this. First of all, I created a test page. It can be any kind of page, but of course you need to have uh, Flatsum installed and WordPress. Um, the first step is we're going to copy the shortcode. So you click on this button, copy, here we go. And as you can see, it's, it was displaying copied. So it's now copied and ready to paste. We go to WordPress and here you go to UX blocks. We're going to create a new block, add new and call this, call this, for example, sticky bottom menu. Paste in the, the shortcode that we just copied and then here click on publish. So that's the first step. The second step is we need to copy the CSS, copy. And then we, you, there are def different places where you can place the CSS. You can uh, put it at appearance and then the team editor, and then you can add it to your child team CSS. Here you go. Um, but I always, you know, as a, for this tutorial, I find it very easy and it's a quick way to add custom CSS at Flatsum Advanced. And here you can find custom CSS. Paste it into all screens, and here you are. Um, it's just saying that the menu needs to be fixed on the bottom, um, and this the second line of code makes sure that um, there's a little hover effect. So when you go over the icons, um, there's a way to, to pop them out a little bit. So anyway, let's save the changes. And now when you visit the UX block, you're gonna view it. You can see if it's working correctly. Here you are, it's working, as you can see. And you can also say that this mobile menu needs to be displayed only on mobile. But I kept it uh, displayed on all devices for this tutorial, but let me show you how to do this. So go into UX block, go to that specific sticky button menu and open it up in the UX builder. Here we go. Here you can find this section Double click on it or click on the settings gear options. And then when you scroll all the way down, you can find that the visibility is on, is set to visible. But if you place it on only for mobile, it's only visible for mobile. So this is the way to go if you want to have that menu only displayed on mobile devices. So apply, update, done. So now there are two ways to, uh, to uh, import uh, or display that specific shortcode on your website, you can either choose to place that um, mobile menu on a specific page. So let me show you how to do this. So here we have our home page. You go open it up in your UX builder. So let's say you want that mobile menu only displayed on your home page, could be. And then you can just click on add element, search on block, and then search on the sticky bottom menu. So you don't see it because you only can see it on the mobile devices. So this was the way, this was the, uh, the way to only display that mobile menu on the home page, on a specific page. But let's say you want to have that mobile menu on every page in your website. There's another way to do this. So let me close this and not save it for now. What you can do is you need to copy paste the short code here of that specific UX block, go to Flatsum, Advanced, and then at uh, Global Settings, there are, there's a way to add or import footer scripts. Here you can place that specific block idea, save, and when you now open up your website, and you make it smaller, you can see it's working. But also on all the other pages, so let's say you go to um, I'm not sure if I have any. Oh yeah, so the my account page. No, it's not really working. So cart. No, I think I have a redirect placed on every page. Um, but anyway, 
it should be, well, I will show you, it should also be displayed on other pages. So let's say this sample page, here we are. Here you can see that the uh, mobile menu is also displayed on uh, this specific page. So that's about it. That's how you do it. Let me know what you think. Um, if it helps you with your project, um, follow me or subscribe on the YouTube channel. And I'm also um, active now on Instagram.com uh, slash Have a nice day. Bye-bye.